so today I am working out at home and I'm going to be doing some rebound cardio on my trampoline so I'm just going to pull it back so you guys can see me I'm going to cut some music on and I'm just going to be going so um, this is just something I decide I want to try to implement maybe once or twice a week um, to work out at home to inspire people to get up and move at home even if they don't have a gym membership or don't like going to the gym so I'm getting ready to work out on a trampoline. I've had this for a while and I'm like, let me utilize it. And it gives me time to get some rest and not have to get up every morning at the same time because it can be a challenge, a challenge to get up early every day, but I must still push no matter what. So I'm gonna do some rebound cardio. Baby, if this was not speeded up, if y'all can only feel how I felt, this lady right here, mm -mm, next level. Y'all getting racy in a few seconds. Speeding it up, making it look like it was just so smooth for me. And I was just getting it in, right? Yeah, okay. Don't let it fool you. I just try to speed it up so y'all can get that I did do a lot of moving <laughs> today. <laughs> y'all, this is ridiculous. This is no joke at all. I can't keep up with her. See how smart she is? I can't keep up with her. But I'm just going to be moving no matter what. It is a challenge. It is a challenge. Let me continue. So here, I'm not speeding it up. So you can actually see how fast I'm moving according to how fast she's moving. But guess what? I'm moving. Gosh. Oh my gosh, this is intense. Like, next level. I found it, so let me try. I seen on her some of her stuff a while back when I decided to get this treadmill. Not treadmill. This, um, let me get away from the light. This trampoline. And she got some good stuff. But I need to find some beginners. Because I haven't been working out on this thing. Now I can jump up and down. But my ankles, my ankles and my feet. And I know she got sneakers on. I don't know if I should have sneakers on. Um, or is it just because she's teaching the class? I don't know. But it's a full-blown struggle right now. Struggle is real. Let me get my water. Yeah. I'm saying I ain't about that life right yet. I still got a lot of weight on me. I know some people are like, no, no, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm not used to being the size. It hurts. It hurts. Mm. I had to pause it because I realized she was playing music. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep all of what I just said. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to talk over it. Oh my gosh. My feet are hurting. My feet are hurting. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just going to dance for a few minutes. I just need to move. I don't care. I'm going to dance. I like dancing, it's fun to me. Wait, let me put this back over here because I can't. I'm gonna have to put some music on and dance. Um, yeah. Not that I, it's a struggle, I'm not gonna say I can't, I can't one day I will. Y'all, why the command strip things fell in my own? Um, good thing I had this there because my speaker, this was the other day, so we're gonna just have to drill holes. I know we got plastic walls, so we're just gonna have to drill holes. Just wanted to slow down in different areas so you guys can kind of get a gist of what I'm doing. Just moving, just moving, guys.
Guys, I'm just moving and dancing. That is it. My goal is today to burn 200 calories. And look at 271. I got 30 more calories, guys. It's on a break on Pandora. Oh, Lord. Let me go back some more. So y'all can see the song chance. All right, y'all. We did it. The song is off. Hold on. That's my hobby. Hold on. Pause. We did it. We did it. Bam. All right. We're doing some water. Take a shower. And get dressed. Let's push. <coughs> Did y'all see that? I just wanted to talk to y'all. So, as you see, you really could burn good calories at home, especially if you're a heavier person because the heavier you are, the more you will burn in a shorter amount of time than someone that's um, bigger than you. So, as you see, I did 28 minutes and I burned 212. 212 and when I go to the gym I'm there for like hour anywhere between 58 minutes I think that was the lowest time I seen to 114 somewhere around in there and I burn four ish I think I went to five some one time so usually it's between 340 ish the highest I've ever burned was like five something um but I think that five something I was there for like hour and 14 minutes hour I know more no more than hour and 20 because I don't try to stay that long so you can work out at home you don't need a gym membership um and I do actually enjoy it because it's fun and I can just do whatever as long as I'm moving the key to it is movement and because of the size I am um it is painful um, doing certain things it is not fun feeling painful and with dancing I feel like I'm just in my own world but I'm doing movements that kind of mimic exercise at the same time so that way I can burn the calories so yeah I actually like that and it, it makes me feel good because I think the reason I can't sleep at night going to the gym is because I'm so, my brain is like, oh, you don't want to miss the alarm. You don't want to miss the alarm because it's so early in the morning, three o'clock. So yeah, that's one thing, but it's all good. I definitely, um, oh, I definitely got a good workout. I feel good about it. That reburn, rebound cardio, that wasn't the business. I, okay. Now I'm just going to bounce, you know, that's fine. But what she was doing, your girl is not ready. That was a challenge for me, so. I need to drop like a good 20 20 plus or so before I can really start doing it because I feel it in my um, feet and I shouldn't feel it in my feet I don't know if it's because I'm tense I don't know but it's a struggle guys it's a struggle for me um, and doing this every day it is a, it's a struggle as well trying to share this because I gotta try to remember to, oh I'm gonna eat this let me get let me record that oh I'm gonna let me you know it is a struggle it's a struggle but I'm not just doing this for me it's not just about me it's about a lot of people who thought they couldn't do it or didn't have the mojo to do it or get up and um don't have the mojo to get up and just push but if they see somebody bigger than them or their size they're like wow she could do it I can do it you can you can and every time I look at my body I'm just like gosh it's gonna be for freaking ever man it's gonna be forever but I know it will be forever if I don't do something. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, when I say stuff to y'all, I'm not just motivating y'all. I'm motivating myself when I say stuff like, oh, little changes. You may not see. You may see little change from your eye. But the little changes make a big difference. And I'm trying to motivate myself because I'm like, the gut, the arms. When will they go? When will they go? I don't know. So, I just 
gotta keep pushing. I'm not 21. I know that it can be a challenge the older you get. I do know that. So I'm keeping that in mind, but I'm not letting that be an excuse to not go as hard as I can without overdoing it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get this early confession and I didn't eat anything. I'm sipping on my lemon water. Um, I really want some coffee. I really want coffee. I had my ACV today um, and that was it. Uh, I don't know what I want to eat. Probably some soup. I don't, I don't know what I want to eat. I don't really want no soup. I don't know, but you guys will see whatever I end up eating. You guys will see it. Oh, some sausage and eggs sound good. Yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, I love you guys. Remember that we got this and to stick to your script because you are the best at it and do what works for you. People are going to tell you things. People are going to suggest things. If you feel interested in it, try it. If you feel like it could be a benefit to you in some way, but don't get overwhelmed. Do what you need to do for you. Even if it's just taking a walk to the end of the block, to the end of your driveway and back, you know? Some people got driveways. Walk to the end of your driveway and back, you know? Walk in front of your house. Say, okay, I'm gonna walk to this end of my house and that end of my house five times or two times. Depending on where you are, you, one time might be a challenge for you, but do it one time and say, all oh, this week I'm gonna walk to the end of my, my, my driveway and I'm going to come back. Then, I'm gonna, then oh, next week I'm going to try to do it twice. Then the next week I'm going to try to do it three times or whatever. Um, start off small and it'll happen. I know it will. I know it will, guys. I know it will. Let's keep pushing. Um, you know, I was watching something. What was it? And the guy said, uh, yeah, I felt good about myself and I, no, yeah, I loved me and I thought I was handsome and I thought I looked good, but I was uncomfortable and that's where I am. I think I'm beautiful. When I divified myself, even when I was divifying myself up, God didn't make no junk. So I think I'm beautiful no matter what, but I'm not comfortable. See, that's a difference. Those are two separate things. Comfortable and beautiful doesn't mean anything. That's like a car that looks good, but when you get in it, it's like, oh gosh, it's so tight. I can't even stretch. I'm just like like a two-seater. You get what I'm saying? But it's a fancy car and everybody's eyeing it like, oh gosh, nice. Yeah, I feel like uh I feel like when I represent myself, my husband, and my children, I have to go do whatever it is I need to go do as a uh, entrepreneur, a mom, whatever. I represent myself well, but on the inside. Or, or how I feel from my physical is very uncomfortable. So that's where I'm at. Um, guys, I, you know, just share. Please share. Please share this. This I'm not just doing this for me. It could be somebody in your family. Somebody who you know that really can use this um, inspiration and, and get motivated to push to do something different in their life. Um, to make a change for their health. And all that good stuff. So let me go. I need to take a shower. I'm itchy. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys so much. You guys will see the rest of the day. Just stay tuned. That was so, so freaking good. I, you know, when it's time for me to eat, it's like I get so hungry. And I be seeing all these options. And I'm like, what do I want to eat? I think I want tuna. I'm going to make my quick tuna. I got two different types of tuna that I make. They are bomb. If anyone has ever tried them, they're like, girl. But I got one that's really simple, and I'm going to share that one with y'all. It is just ranch and tuna. And I got that from, in South Carolina, um, at uh, Sam's. They let you try little things, and they had made some um, tuna. I forgot what it was, what we were eating it with. It was really good. But the lady was like, girl, all this is is some ranch and some tuna. I said, are you serious? It just tastes so flavorful, like it had all this great stuff in it. She was like, no. So that's a quick tuna. So if you like tuna... I like to get albacore tuna. Um, it's not good to eat tuna a lot because of the mercury. So, and I'm not even going to say that because it is, seriously is mercury. And it is, it's something that usually they say pregnant women shouldn't even eat much of and stuff like that. So, um, really a lot of seafood is bad for you. It may not have as many calories, but it tastes so good. But anywho, um, tonight on the menu, we were going to do leftovers. But for some reason, Rizzy, well, no, Rizzy does. Naya don't eat Popeyes. I made that big thing of Popeyes, so we'll probably, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't want to eat uh, that much of that Popeye stuff with that bread on it. So we shall see. But I'm getting ready to go downstairs after I throw on some night clothes. 
and um, I'm getting ready to make my tuna and my meal, my first meal of the day. So let's go check it out. This is what I'm in the mood for. I got these Pepperidge Farm crackers. I'm not going to eat that many of those. Probably about two, four, six, about eight, eight or ten, no more than ten. Then I got this albacore tuna from Aldi's, and I want some sharp cheddar. Then I got me three popsicles, which these are 70 calories a piece. So that's basically, I'll say, 135 calories to get some sweet in because I got to have it. Um, yeah. So let me make this tuna. See how albacore tuna looks. I just chunk it up, chunk it up, and get my Aldi's ranch. And squirt. Hold on. Get some ranch in here now, y'all. And that's it. And then I'm going to mix it. I got one hand, so hold on. No, that is it. But I just have to have some pepper in my <laughs> fish. I love pepper. And I'm going to do garlic and onion powder. That's just my preference. You don't have to do it. And some parsley. And usually I put eggs in my tuna. But this is a last minute little craving. So that's not going in there. So let me mix this up. Now this is one can. And it really is not a whole bunch. So I can technically eat this as a meal with some crackers and cheese. And that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Got my little cuts of cheese. I cut them real thin. And I'm going to put that with it and eat it. And got my two little popsicles for that sweet craving. And that's what I'm eating. When we had the pack and it had three extra under and we thought we was getting a deal where maybe somebody packaged something that was, uh, wasn't was supposed to be like that for $12.99, we got six New York strips, okay? So if you didn't see my video yesterday, this is, look at that, six of them, $12, $12 for six, can't beat it, can't beat it, can't beat it, yep, wow, six New York strips for 12 bucks. About to rinse them and cut onions and peppers. This is gonna be dinner. Stay tuned. What I have done is stop using butter. Um, when making certain things, I stopped putting butter and start using my olive oil instead. Um, to you know lighten up on some calories and stuff. Cut up some onions and peppers, and now I'm about to cover it up and put it in the oven for like an hour and a half. And then it'll be time to eat. I'm going to probably eat some cauliflower, either broccoli and ca cauliflower. And they're going to have some um, broccoli cheddar rice. I don't know why y'all, but my husband loves this stuff here. He loves this stuff. It's cheaper to get it out of there. I know it's not the healthiest. But it costs so much more to do it yourself, too. And it takes longer. So let me put this in the oven. And I will show it to y'all when it's done. A pedicure cleaning up these dogs so I can paint them yeah so that's what I'm getting ready to do and then eat dinner I might see I just got done buffing that one so that's why that looks all white like that but yeah about to get them right I know they ashy but excuse it <laughs> done. and the cauliflower and broccoli. No cheese for me today. And then they are going to have their uh, rice. Alright. So dinner was good. Um, yeah, I tried to eat it slower. And I noticed when I ate it slower, I did feel um, that I was getting full quick. Um, yeah, that's basically it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this today and I guess I will see you tomorrow um uh, can't think of anything that I really wanted to talk about today and I need to hurry up and edit this so I can get in the bed so yeah I will see you guys in the next video and keep pushing we got this y'all let's keep pushing keep pushing <sighs> seemed like a total struggle and and I'll let y'all know when it get closer, but alright y'all, I'll just see y'all tomorrow. Later.